establishing your seat. The two knees. The backs of your knees and the pelvic floor. And in your mind's eye, just create a line between those, those, those points. See that triangle. Now bring your attention to your lower back. As your abdomen relaxes, it gently draws the lower back inward and slightly upwards. Then bring your attention to the sternum. And ever so subtly, draw the sternum up. And as the sternum lifts, the middle part of your back, the thoracic spine, moves slightly inwards as well and upwards. You may have to adjust your shoulder blades back a little bit the head of your arm bones slightly back as well. And then you bring your attention to the crown of your head, the very fontanelle. And to help establish that connection, you take the tongue to the roof of the mouth, move your tongue back to where the the rough palate and the soft palate meet. And then take your right hand to to the back of your the the top of your head there, not so much forwards near the forehead. And just for the sake of contrast, go ahead and take your finger, kind of rub it forwards towards your forehead and actually bring your fingers down to the eyebrow center. Okay, that's what's called the third eye, the eyebrow. And then take your fingers from temple to temple across your forehead. On the inner wall of your forehead there, that's called chitta kasha. Chitta is an aspect of the mind and kasha is space. And then very slowly take your palm to the whole back of your head. Kind of rub it a little bit so you have that awareness. That's called the guru chakra, the back of the head, the back of the brain. And then as you bring your fingertips right to the top of your forehead, or excuse me, the crown of your head right where the point between the roof of your mouth and where your fingers are, that's the midbrain. So you establish that connection. You, when you're ready, release your hand to your right leg. And you wanna become aware of the breath flow through the nostrils. What you'll notice is the in-breath, the effortless in-breath, when it's drawn in, it's cool. And it runs along the wall of your, what's called your septum. And when your breath leaves, it's warmed. And it runs along the outer ridge of your nostril. Experience that for a moment. And allow your attention to ride that natural occurrence. The in-breath is cool. And it moves along the septum, the inner wall of your nostril there. And the out-breath is warmed and it runs along the outer nostril as it releases. Now to take it a little bit deeper, bring your attention to the midbrain and see the breath as two separate streams coming in and converging, merging at the apex there, like a V. And as the body breathes out from that point in the midbrain, straight out through the nostrils again.
This is called prana dharana. Prana, the force of life, first source. And dharana is one of the eight limbs of ashtanga. Dharana means concentration. So it's concentration of the vital force. What you might begin to notice is a little um, like a glowing or a vibrating or a light, a literal white light or a, a slight illumination in the midbrain. Let's tap back into that, just that feeling of you. The feeling, that unique experience of you here and now. That sense of certainty, that sense of, of internal knowing. Bring your attention into that. Now maintaining your posture, the connection to the pelvic floor, the midbrain, and that feeling of you, that experience of you. We're going to move through Kapalabhati, coupled with Nadi Shodhanam. Okay, so let's begin Kapalabhati until I ask you to stop. <laughs> so keep the spine tall, all the elements of the spine, lumbar, slight arch, stomach relaxed, sternum lifting, crown of head reaching, and finding itself right over the base of your spine. You'll feel the, when the body breathes out, it's natural for it to breathe in. It's a little forceful exhale, but then a passive inhale. Okay, now breathe everything out. Bend the right elbow and block the right nostril. Draw the breath deeply in through your left. Now you're gonna block both of your nostrils. Keep the belly soft, all the elements of the spine, lumbar, sternum lifting. However, you are gonna take the chin now and gently meet the lifting sternum with your chin. Bring a little bit more emphasis of the two shoulders coming back. So there's a lift, the shoulders are coming back. You might even feel the sides of your body lifting a little bit more under your armpits. Then go ahead and exhale through the right nostril. The head returns to center. Inhale through the right. As you block both nostrils, once again, lower back, the sternum lifts, and the chin slightly drops to meet the lifting sternum. You wanna steady all of your senses. As you let the breath out through the left, the head returns to center. And then the right hand releases to the thigh. Now that would be one cycle. Kapalabhati, followed by a simple cycle of Nadi Shodhanam. We're gonna do three more with first, so it's a total of four. But before we start the next cycle, notice any shifts. Okay, Kapalabhati. (laughs) 
as you continue to breathe in this way, you're checking into your posture. The taller the posture, the more access to the technique you'll have, the more natural the technique will feel. And specifically, the sternum. Right from the solar plexus up to the collarbones, slight lift. A little bit more emphasis on the out breath. <laughs> like you're trying to blow out a candle that's three or four feet out in front of you. That's it. Spine is tall, crown of the head is over the base of the spine. Perfect. Exhale everything out. And then bend the right elbow, draw the breath in through the left nostril. Deep, right? Deep and full. And once you're filled up, block both of your nostrils. As the chin drops, that action is what the yogis would call Jalandhara Bandha. Bring your attention to the floor of your pelvis and squeeze the perineal floor, the muscle, almost like you're trying to hold back a stream of urine. Mula Bandha. As you lift the sternum, it pulls the, you know, the, the front of the abdomen back, Uddiyana Bandha, and then Jalandhara Bandha. Okay, yeah. As you let the breath out through the right nostril, the head lifts back up. You're getting tall as the breath leaves you. And then take another deep breath in through the right nostril. Fill it right from the bottom. Posture yourself in a way to make sure you're getting all the tissue of the lungs filled. Tuck your chin down again. Floor of the pelvis. A bit of a pull of that muscle. It can, like you're making a fist with the perineum. Squeezing it. Sternum lifts. Chin drops. And when you need to and have to, exhale through the left. As the breath leaves your body, you're remaining upright and tall. Right hand releases and you adjust. any shifts. And as you notice shifts, you may also consider employing the, the technique of neti neti. This morning here, live in the room, there's a lot of tummy rumblings. Neti neti. Notice it. feeling my whole skull is brightening. Neti neti. What, what I'm aware of is not me, so I'm negating it. But also including it. I can hear the clock ticking. Neti neti. We've got two more rounds. Kapalabhati. Now continue with Kapalabhati. Continue as you bend the right elbow, block just the right nostril, and Kapalabhati through the left nostril. You're probably going to have to do a little bit more diaphragmatic involvement here. See that breath moving in and out of the left nostril. Spine tall, sternum lifting. Now block the left nostril, Kapalabhati just through the right. Try to open the nasal cavity, expand the nostril. See the breath moving in and out, 
But the prana that's riding the breath, concentrating, making its way into the spine. Kapalabhati through both nostrils, the right hand releases. Now exhale everything out. Hold the breath out. Crawl your hands out in front of you. Lean forward, hold the breath out. Then pull the stomach in, hollow it out. Keep the breath out, relax the stomach, curl the stomach, relax the stomach. Agni Sada. Do that five or six times, keep the breath out. And then walk your hands back up to your thighs, take a big deep breath in through both nostrils. Press the heels of your hands down into your thighs, lift your collarbone, big breath in, retain it now. Retain the breath in. Keep the chest lifting, expanded, spine tall. Push the thighs away from you with your arms. Try to sip a little bit more breath in. And then let that breath go. As the breath leaves your body, you're sitting up tall. Notice any shifts. final round, we will exercise what's called alternate nostril kapalabhati. So you're going to bend the right elbow and at each time you breathe, you're going, to, you're going to alternate your thumb and your ring finger. Sort of like... So when you're ready, go for it. Now if you lose your rhythm, stop, take a breath in and out and then simply resume. Stay tall through your spine. Yeah, do your best. Spine tall, sternum lifting. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna exhale through the right nostril completely. And draw the biggest breath you've got through the right nostril. Deep. Fill it up. Lift your collarbones. Lift everything up. Create space in there. Block both nostrils. Tuck your chin to the rising sternum. Meet the two together. Pull the, the head of the arm bones back a little. Soft belly. But you're drawn tall, so there's a slight pulling in of the belly. Uddiyana, squeeze the floor of the pelvis. And then exhale through the left. Sit up nice and tall as the breath leaves your body. And then deep in through the left, fill. Watch the breath penetrating the midbrain. At the top, chin drops, sternum lifts, head of the arm bones come back. Mula, banda, floor of the pelvis engaging. Uddiyana is already pulling in, Jalandhara, chin drops. Steady all of your senses. And then out through the right. Sitting up nice and tall. All the breath is out. And release the hand to your thigh. So here we are, lower back, remember the belly's relaxing. The contents of the belly as, as they relax forward gently draws the lumbar into an extension. There is a slight uplift through the sternum. I find myself having to check into that personally more during my meditation. As I go deeper, I find myself slouching a little bit. 
And then of course, the crown of the head, as it finds itself over the base of your spine, well then your, your cervical neck is in alignment. Bring your attention to the inner wall of your forehead. We've already established that. In the midbrain. Or perhaps even back to the guru chakra, the back of the skull. Now your breath is involuntary at this point. There's no need to, to shape your breath. Your breath is quiet. However, you are going to move conscious attention from the inner wall of your forehead as your body inhales to the guru chakra, to the back of the brain. And as your body exhales from the back of the brain to the eyebrow center. teeth parts slightly, the tongue releases from the roof of your mouth, your spine is tall. Awakening, enlivening, pranadharna. Relax the space between your eyebrows. Relax your breath. From the midbrain, or excuse me, from the eyebrow center to the back of the brain as your body breathes in, and awareness from the back of the brain to the eyebrow center as you breathe out. That's the Kriya. Kriya means an action, a, a practice, a technique. If you find yourself forgetting, well, in the moment you notice that, you've remembered. And resume the practice. mind wanders, you just bring it back. Experiencing that horizontal movement of your attention. Your awareness. As we mentioned in the practice, the meditation last night, awareness is also an object. Pranadharna.
notice how quiet and almost non-existent your breath is. Don't force it. Let it find its ideal rhythm for this moment. Let it go. Because eventually, that pulsation from midbrain to third eye to forehead center and back becomes independent of the breath. The breath drops down. And that movement becomes like a pulse. Like a charge. And the more you relax, release, the more you experience that charge, that pulsation. If the mind wanders, bring it back. Horizontal pulsation. Become aware of the space immediately surrounding your skull. The air. And allow your attention, your conscious attention, to expand beyond the pulsation in the brain. Explore the farthest reach of your consciousness, expanding it to the room that, you're, that we're in, beyond the walls of this building, where we are in the state, where we are in the country, where we are on this earth, where the earth is surrounded by space. How far out can you go?
Before we close the meditation, I'm going to ask you to take a big breath in <clears throat> and a long, slow breath out, getting nice and tall as you exhale. And I invite you to join me in a little call and response. It's the same chant we did last night. Om Namah Shivaya Gurave. Om Namah Shivaya Gurave. Sachita Nanda Mortaye. Sachita Nanda Mortaye. Nish Prapanchaya Shantaya. Nish Prapanchaya Shantaya. Nira Lambaya Teja Nira Lambaya Teja Om Namah Shivaya Gurave Sachita Nanda Mortaye Nish Prapanchaya Shantaya Nira Lambaya Tejase Om Namah Shivaya Gurave Sachita Nanda Mortaye Nish Prapanchaya Shantaya Nira Lambaya Tejase ask you guys to take your hands and briskly rub them together. <clears throat> Generating as much heat as you can. And then take that heat right over your eyes. One of my favorite practices here. So you take your, your eyes, open them up, and look all around the darkness in your hands. As if you're trying to let the back of the skull absorb that heat way back behind your eyes. And then you can rub your eyes open and um, comb your body down in a, call it dry combing down. And I'd like for you to sit for as long as you wish in open eye meditation. <clears throat> 